I guess. Welcome back. Half fast. 719. It's time to get the break on. The break on. Um, yep, I'll uh, start with the front. Start with the front and uh, yeah, go from there. So I'll have to figure out. I know which rotors are front and rear because the rear have a, a drum inside for the brake shoes. Um, which will be the fatter box. Those will be the front. Anyway, let me get started. I guess time to compare the mid torque oh, to the big old one. So I already took the other wheel off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and zip some of these off. So let's see how many Ugas this thing needs to take. Oh man. It's on the smart setting. So I'm going to turn it just down to three. Barely even, barely even an Uga. Anyway, a lot of power, a lot of power, more power for more power. Anyway, now I got anti seize all over. Yay! All right, little tip, guys. This little rubber boot right here. When you take this off, you'll see a bunch of powder or a bunch of dry crap. You gotta clean this. This is your floating caliper. You can hear that? That means there's no lube in here. And let me show you the pads real quick. Oh, she's... These front pads were just replaced. I don't know when. But they're not that bad. Still got a lot of life left on them. And then when you put these new the new hardware in, try to lubricate it. I don't even know if you guys can see that. Try to lubricate this hardware because this pad has to slide. Oh man. It has to slide between this. And because it's a floating caliper, it has to be able to pull itself. It's basically gonna float float in this channel here so these are completely just dried up when I took them off every one of these came off with the hardware like that so and then when I pulled one of these out a bunch of powder came out like rusty powder so anyway just pull them out clean them up clean in there clean in the hole and uh, apply some of the grease, which I think I'm sitting on. Oh no, I'm not sitting on it. So, you'll just take some of this grease once it's clean. You'll put it on here, shove a little bit in this boot. Uh, the boot's dry too. So, just a quick little brake tip. Um, and uh, keep the rotors clean. If you can at all, keep them clean, as clean as you can. So I use a little brake caliper hanger to hang the brake caliper and then there's the rotor pads all on this side so this side's done I just had to do a lot of cleaning up 
on them. So, there you go, there's a little brake caliper hanger, C-clamp, 24 millimeter for the big bolts, 17 millimeter for the small bolts, and I use a pry bar, C-clamp, and tools, oh, and a wire brush. Definitely use a wire brush. Clean up around here, around the hub. Clean your mating surface here. You can see there's a lot of gunk in here. Clean all that up, both sides, and definitely clean these and get some lube in here. So, all right, I'm gonna get back to it. All right, front brakes are all done, pads. So these are kind of like springs, I guess, to, to allow the caliper to float. Um, and then those are your feelers. So when the pads get really low, they'll start to squeal on those. Um, as you can see, they protrude just past the metal, so you probably will have like, I don't know, 2,000 miles left. So anyway, just make sure all your bolts are tight, everything's tight, cleaned up. Make sure there's no grease rain. I see he's all over the rotor. Um, these rotors came with a ton of grease, or a ton of oil on them. So anyway, um, I'm just putting them back in the box. The old ones because they're still, I think they're still good. I checked them with the uh, uh, mic, caliper, whatever, gauge. And uh, they're still showing that they can be turned if I want it to be turned. But anyway, so and they're the coated ones for all the rust and rain and snow we get in Southern California. So front is done. Now we're going to head down to the back. So, and I'm going to rotate the tires too while I'm here. Um, and a little bit of cupping on the front tires. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, rip the rear off, rear tire off, rear tire off, send it to the front, put the front together, and then get to work on the rear. Also, as you can see in the rear, missing two lug nuts. So I have the studs that I'm going to use to replace those. So, anyway, that might be a little while. See what I can't break. Be back. All right, got the big monster. Let's see what we can do here. Definite goodbye. A good, good purchase. It weighs a ton, though. I don't know how much it weighs. It probably weighs like 15 pounds. All right, let's get this tire off. Let's see what kind of damage we got back there. So, looks like it's just those two. Everything else looks good. So, let me get this all apart. Hopefully, I don't have to pull the hub off. I'm hoping. So, anyway, let me get to work. Just 
just a little bit of a fight. What I do with rotors or these rotors rear, hit it around here, spin it, hit it, I pull it, hit it, pull it, hit it, pull it, and then just work it out. Oh, she's things heavy. Okay. Man, there's a lot of crap in here. So let me get you guys in there. So I'm gonna clean up all this. This is the e-brake shoes, obviously. So I'm gonna clean up in here, clean all this. There's all kinds of dirt there. Um, yeah, and then uh, there'll be a video how to install these, how to replace these, remove these. I also have to uh, clean up these threads on the lug nuts. There's two lug nuts that the threads are pretty trashed. So that'll be the next video. So for right now, I'm just gonna clean these up and uh, clean all that up, throw something, I don't know, just clean it up real quick, I'll be back, but yeah, maybe I'll show you guys how I get the other one off, we'll do that. Alright guys, I want to show you one more time, these are the rear brake, rear disc brake brackets, and we'll see, it's got a lot of powder coming out of here. That's dry as heck. So, if you're gonna do, I don't know, I don't like people that do half fast work. And then if you look at this one, this one's practically seized. I can't even, I can't even turn it that way. I can turn it this way, barely. So I have to walk this one out. Oh man, this one's bad. Oh man. Mm. So like this one, I can't even... I can't even get it out. So this right here will cause your brake pads to wear uneven. Pretty bad. So I'm just gonna sit here and play with this stupid thing. Oh man, that's pretty bad. It's got some grease in there, but they probably just put like bearing grease or something in there. Not brake grease, brake brake grease. Has a lot higher temperature. It's like 1,200 degrees or something crazy. So. Again, I'm just going to clean all this out, get as much of this crap off as I can. Clean underneath that boot. Sorry, this is going to be a long video just because most people are stupid. Not really, maybe not stupid, but um, just maybe uh, uneducated, I guess. there's bad rust on here like thick rust I'll take it over to the wire wheel and wire wheel it but it doesn't feel too bad so and then I'll just take these do whatever and then I gotta run some brake clean through these holes clean them out and then uh, get all this prepped and then I'll go show you guys how to take off a, a drum a rear drum with uh, rotor and the drum for the e-brakes show you how to do it or how I do it anyway all right well this is how I get this get my rotors with the drums off here's a mallet a nylon mallet and I hit on the opposite side where the brake caliper was so I can pull it I spin it if I can spin it Basically all you have to do is just pull it here, hit it here, and it'll come off. So that's off. So again, I'm just gonna clean 
all this up. While you're in here, just check and see if, if like, you have a, a bad wheel bearing, which I don't because it gets really wet in here. So, and then if you're in here doing brakes and you find that it's wet, Just in case, you never know when you gotta use these. Sorry for the wind. It's windy. As you can tell, if you can't tell. tell so, anyway, that's how I get it out. Or off, I guess. So I'm just gonna go through here. Looks like that lug stud's pretty bad too. But I'm assuming it still works, so I'm not going to worry about it. To me, it looks like somebody used the wrong lug studs. So. Anyway, I'm going to end it here because it's getting too windy. But anyway, I'll be back once I'm all finished. Alright guys, brakes are done. So now what I have left to do is to torque down the wheels. So went pretty easy. I'll show you real quick um, before I torque it down with my also tools torque wrench. So I don't want to touch them. Anyways. I checked the specs on the rotors, the rear rotors, and they're pretty much gone. Um, they got a pretty good size lip out here. <clears throat> so here's the pads. So it's pretty close, running, running really close. If you can see that. Probably another 200 miles, they would have started squealing at me. That one's not that bad. So these are the two um, outside pads for both sides and then these are the inside. So anyway, we're going to do a brake job, get yourself some two cans of brake cleaner, uh, pads, good pads, good rotors. I'm assuming these are good pads and rotors because you know they're platinum, but anyway. So now I got all lug nuts. Got eight lug nuts on this wheel, so now I could give it all the torque. So, you can see in there, new pads, new rotors. So, and then I have, this is how much extra fluid came out. Brake fluid, that all dumped out of the reservoir. And I had to pull some, some more out because it was completely full so I pulled some more out until I was to the full mark so what I'll do is I'll just take some uh, warm soapy water I'll pour it down in here and it'll wash all that away so and then these rotors are scrap pads are scrap so more scrap metal and uh, that's gonna be it guys I'm gonna go in and get something to eat it is hmm, I don't know, almost two o'clock I've been out here since 10, 10.30. Um, doing pads, rotors, uh, the wheel studs, or the lug studs, and uh, lights and everything. So I'm going to go get something to eat. And then I'll come back 
and uh, I'll probably clean the grill, paint the grill, and go from there. So we'll see. I might go inside and go to sleep. Who knows? All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe over here. I think it is. Hit a like over here or dislike. Anyways, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. See you guys on the next video. Later.